Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. I am actually on a trip in Dallas, Texas. I'm in downtown Dallas right now. So this isn't actually my house um, or my office, but it is uh, where I am living this week. I'm very excited. I'm visiting my new hubby um, down here. He works here some. So here I am enjoying um, barbecue and I wore my cowboy boots and yes, having a good time. So, but I wanted to talk to you guys about why you are still hooked. I have so many ladies and they say he is out of my bed, but he is still in my head or other guys seem so boring or I'm trying to date someone and um, there's just no chemistry or why, you know, he's treating me awful. How, why am I still interested in him? Why do I still like him? Okay. And so, um, it is a process called intermittent rewards. Okay. And so what that means is, um, BF Skinner did a experiment with rats and mice because they're always experimenting with rats and mice, which is very odd. Um, but he is, he did this experiment and basically say you were giving a mouse a cookie. Okay. So if you went to and pushed a little button and every time you push the button, you got a cookie, the mouse might work, you know, 80% of his effort to get that cookie. But if the, sometimes you gave the mouse a cookie and sometimes you didn't give the mouse a cookie, the mouse would work very, very hard to get that cookie. Okay. So think about that. It is the same way in a toxic relationship. Some days are good. Some days are bad. Sometimes you have Dr. Jekyll. Sometimes you have Mr. Hyde and you're always wanting to get back to that day, that moment when things were okay. And think about the sheer relief that you feel when he's being nice to you that day or she's being nice to you that day. Or, um, he said you looked beautiful or you had sex and you know, you had fun and you were able to laugh. Okay. That's your cookie, right? Okay. So when that happens, and you feel loved and you feel adored and you feel cherished, you have a chemical flood within your system of good, feel good chemicals, okay? But just like the mouse that sometimes pushed the button and didn't get the cookie, the same thing happens in toxic relationships, right? Because you're not always getting a good reward. You're not always getting that love. You're not always getting that kindness you never know what you're going to get. Okay. So sometimes you have them being very kind to you. And sometimes you have anger. Sometimes you have, why are you talking to that guy? Sometimes you have the silent treatment. Sometimes you have, why did I ever marry you? Sometimes you have, um, no one else would ever want you. You're never going to be good enough. Um, why are you always fighting me? Why are you always trying to be controlling? Why are you always trying to bring up a fight? Can't you just enjoy, leave things as they are. And so, Psychology, B.F. Skinner, psychology shows us that when it's unpredictable, we work harder. Human beings work harder for that reward. And some companies are utilizing that now. Um, there's a lot of science behind this that when it's unpredictable, humans tend to work harder. So think about that toxic relationship, how unpredictable it was. And if you are good and kind and loving and giving, then you want that you want to believe that that good version of that person, that person who gives you the cookie, that person who gives you the reward is the real person, right? And that when they're angry or when they're upset, that that's the fake person. That's the person who got abused as a child. That's the person who just had the hard things happen to them. That's the person who just has a little anger problem. That's the person who's having a bad day. But the real person is the person who is kind to you, right? Because your body, it's not your fault. Your It's not my fault. Our, our bodies are flooded as humans with these lovely feel-good chemicals that they actually compare to cocaine <laughs> because it, it creates such reward centers in our brain and we are so happy. And so I want you to take a moment and I want you to forgive yourself because if you have been in that situation and you feel stupid now because you thought, why did I believe him? You know, why, why did I put up with that? You know, any of those sorts of things. It's because you're a human. So congratulations, you're a human. You did, you behaved exactly as a human would. And it's not because you're dumb and it's not because you're broken. And if somebody else had been in that situation, there's a very high chance they would have, um, 
it behaved in the exact same way you would, unless they're a toxic person and they understood how the game worked. Now that's a whole different situation because they realize the way the game works. They realize that um, there's intermittent rewards and that if you sometimes behave this way and sometimes behave that way and sometimes behave this way and sometimes behave that way, that actually creates a stronger chemical bond to that person than if they were consistently kind all the time, okay? But ladies, some of you, this is so important because some of you talk to me and you're talking about how boring these other guys are, okay? I had a dear friend and she asked me about my husband and she said, oh, do you have a relationship where it's like you can barely stand it and you can't live without him and you just are so in love that you just can't even function? And I said, no. And I don't ever want to live like that again, okay? Let me tell you what I do have. I have a person who's consistently kind to me. I have the most peaceful place in my life. I have the person who's always my partner. I have the person who always plays by the same set of rules. I have the person who I do for him and he does for me. And um, I have the person who I never come home wondering what that night's going to be like. I never come home wondering if, he's, if I'm going to get Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde. I never come home um, experiencing that intermittent reward system because that's not a game he plays with me. That's not a game I play with him. And so what I do have is predictability and it is lovely. Now that doesn't mean there's not passion. That doesn't mean there's not fun. That doesn't mean there's not laughter. That doesn't mean there's not adventure. But I became aware of that process of how exciting it was when someone was using those intermittent rewards and that guessing game to always keep me on my toes, right? And think about what life is like always on your toes. It's miserable. You get anxiety. You get stress. I was 10, 15 pounds heavier. Um, I was miserable. I look back at pictures and I just think, gosh, who is that person? You know, who is that person? And that person was in a game she didn't understand. That person was um, good and kind and nice and expected everyone to be good and kind and nice back. And that person was hopeful. And that person wanted to believe that, um, that the good version of him that I was getting was the true version. And the bad version I was getting that was playing the games and not giving me kind things back was the bad person. Okay, so if you are still in your situation, recognize that both of those things are true. Both of those people are the person. And it is a game. They do know what they're doing. Okay, and they understand that you are chemically bonded to them like cocaine when they are able to play that game. And they can really um, get you to do things that you would not normally do because you're human, not because you're stupid, not because you're crazy, not because you're a narcissist, but because you're human, okay? So um, just think about that as you as you look back and reflect on your own situation. I hope that is very helpful to you because if you're in a toxic relationship, there's one word and that's control. And it is a game of control and a game of, can I, let me see you, if I can get you to do what I want. And when you can do what they want, they keep you for the most part, but it's not love and it's not, it's not kind and it's, it's not healthy. And so I do hope that you know that there's more out there. It is possible. You do have to do the work <laughs> because a toxic relationship leaves you exhausted and broken and tired and um, unsettled, unsure, and unsure of what, how to predict life, how to set up life. Okay. So, but, um, if you need any help, reach out to me and hope you have a wonderful day. Happy healing warriors.